Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo 2020. Hmm. People, is he Iyamu position himself for victory? Let's go to the news and know exactly what is going on. Edo 2020. Is he Iyamu position himself for victory? As he gets many fat party faithful to his sides. Amidst the coronavirus lockdown and the reality of election holding in a few months' time, political gladiators in the state have stepped up their games to position themselves as favorites to fly their respective party tickets. Recall that Izzy Iyamu was one person who called on, saying they should not streamline the primaries to just two people, namely Obaseki and o Topayos Odubo that every interested candidate should be given the opportunity to contest in the primaries. He is known now to have positioned himself very well awaiting the party's primary election ready for victory. The ruling party APC is the figure for all eyes as the incoming incumbent governor Gordon Obaseki is set to sludge his way again into a second term in office. Obaseki has suffered a serious set of setbacks, slowing his march towards the party nomination. The last few days witnesses a tremendous heating in the camp of Obaseki. First of all, it was a crisis of confusion, distrust, and uncertainty as loyalty, greed, and envy became the order of the day, with the C, which is C, Chief of Staff CSO, resigning his position. Obaseki is, uh, was, Obaseki is set to query the handling of funds for the paramedic committee handling headed by the deputy governor, Philip Shaibu. He has since relieved Philip Shaibu as the head of the committee. His trusted ally, Honorable Adujotu, and his chief of staff, Taiwa Kerele, resigned from their government-appointed position. Obaseki became jittery when the media was abreast with news that his last five commissioners and more special assistants were set to tender their resignation in the course of the coming weeks. With this setback, Obaseki has gone into preparation adequately for the primaries coming up in a few months. He has also had meeting with the person of President Muhammad Buhari to discuss what is going on in the party. The negative backlash from the resignation of his aide is currently causing a stir and ripple in the, in the administration of Obaseki. And as such, Izzi Iyamu, the frontline aspirant, has positioned himself enjoying the shine as Obaseki is having a bit of issues in his cabinet. He is positioning himself, going around in campaign quality and speaking to party leaders about his position and loyalty to serve a dual state. They said his ability to carry everyone along is a term and a plus for him. Z. Iyamu is already set and ready to go. He has been with Oshomole all through his court issues and travail. And he has been going around discussing with people, individuals, as well as party faithfuls. Once the, paramed once the pandemic scare is over in a dose state, or um, Izzy Iyamu is set to swing into campaign seriously. Remember, he's the one that said the party should not slimline the primaries to just two members but should allow every interested candidate in the APC cabinet to contest and given the opportunity to have a fair trial at the primaries. Well, my people, you have heard it all. Izzy Iyamu is ready to go. Don't forget that Izzy Iyamu is one person who is seriously looking forward to becoming a governor by hook or by crook in any way necessary. Why did I use that adjective? Is he Iyamu redeployed from PDP to APC? When um, uh, the person of Obaseki was contesting, Izzy Iyamu was the APC 
a PDP candidate that contested alongside with Oshomole. Z Iyamu did not win because Oshomole alongside with Obaseki, I beg your pardon. Izzi Iyamu is one person that Obaseki, uh, uh, you know, defeated and Oshomole was solidly behind him all through the campaign. Izzi Iyamu, uh, Oshomole ended his career then, telling the people of Edo State that Izzi Iyamu was not a trustworthy person and as such should not become Edo State governor. The people of Edo State trusted uh, uh, governor, uh, them, that, that was the governor, the then governor, outgoing governor, or not the person of Oshomole who stood alongside Obaseki campaigned with him until Obaseki became the governor of Edo State. Izzi Iyamu since has not relented with his ambition and desire and aspiration to become Edo State governor. Izzi Iyamu then deployed, deploy, de de deployed from um, PDP to APC. Now in APC is one of those people who are currently preparing and, you know, ready for the primaries. Uh, those state primaries will start from June the 2nd. Izzi Iyamu is one of the contending um, big factors for Ushomo, for Obaseki. Izzi Iyamu is already strategizing and ready to go. Recently, it's not a news that um, Obaseki's camp have suffered some major Iyamu is really ready, all ready to go and cannot wait to become the governor of Edo State. He redeployed and he has positioned himself very well. We all know that um, a person of Obaseki has suffered some major issues. I've had some major issues in his camp talking about his chief of um, staff. The person of Ake, um, Taiwo resigning on him. This did not, you know, did not kind of, um, you know, it did not bring a good signal. However, we heard that... Um, he had a closed door meeting with some of his staffs and um, I'm talking about the commissioners and um, things seem to be looking well and good for him as at now because yesterday he had a Zoom uh, conference call like we're hearing with the person of President Muhammad Buhari to discuss issues regarding the state, what was going on, uh, where things are and what he has done and what the matter and the issues are as at today. He also presented his new chief of uh, staff to the person of Buhari and I believe that they strategized and spoke. Don't forget that Buhari made, uh, uh, you know, said to them that any governor who has performed will be given the opportunity to come back again in office. And as such, you know, uh, Oshomole, uh, you know, discussed and coming back to power, coming back as the APC chairman agreed to some of those terms and conditions according to what we heard so as massa is now we know that uh, izi iyamu is seriously is one of the serious contenders and don't even get it twisted that's the honest truth is one of those who are always in you know in the front line seriously contending with the you know for the position of of becoming a do state governor is one of those who understand the politics who has played it before alongside Pio Sodubo who has served as the deputy governor to Obaseki. I don't even think of, I might be wrong, you know, I don't think um, Budu is as, you know, as a strong contender as much as Izzi Iyamu. Izzi Iyamu is one of those people who is solidly, you know, pushing forward and ready to go. So that's the matter, that's where we are now. Uh, Oshomole you know, uh, not really speaking, has not really said much, but it seemed like uh, Ushomole is on the side of, uh, you know, we don't know exactly what side he is, so whatever I say will be my own opinion, you know, but we know that Izzi Iyamu was seriously with Ushomole, all through Ushomole's travail, all through the court issues, why he was back in, um, in in Abuja, going back and forth in courts. Uh, Izzi Iyamu was one of the people that stayed with Ushomole and brought out a statement saying we are the Edo people, we are great people we know those that help us we do not uh, step on them and we do not take them we do not rubbish them you know we are grateful people those are the exact words you know almost the exact words he used you know saying that if he's elected he will stay true to the course and he will make sure that whoever puts him there he does not you know um 
look down on them or call them names so is yamu is ready to go as we speak but what are your take on this matter what do you think a uh, state uh, governorship election is by the corner and then the parties involved are all preparing and jerring up seriously anyway my people now the matter with the grand be this what are your take don't forget to like or share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news we are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in nigeria and around the world you have a voice please use it don't allow anyone to intimidate you or make you feel you don't have a voice we are campaigning today say be the reason why somebody will smile put a smile on somebody's face don't forget to like share subscribe thumbs up for us please as this will and as this gives us you know more boost and enables us to do more we really appreciate you for always coming out coming out here to to to, to support us god bless bye for now